After more than a year and a half, fully vaccinated travelers from the UK, Europe, China, India, Brazil, and other countries will be allowed to enter the United States. Excited. Uh, it's been a long time, so I think mostly, mostly relieved that we have a like concrete date, so very happy. Travelers must provide proof they've been vaccinated with a jab approved by the U.S. FDA or the WHO. China's vaccines from Sinovac and Sinopharm are on the list, but the Sputnik V vaccine developed in Russia is not. Travelers must also have a negative COVID-19 test taken within three days of travel. We've just been waiting with bated breath and then suddenly the announcement came. And yeah, so, so happy to be getting back to it. For me, it's my first time to the U.S., so... Uh, Really excited. There are a few exemptions. Children under 18 don't need to be vaccinated, but nearly everyone else will have to meet these standards. Airlines say there is pent up demand. So when the Biden administration announced that the U.S. border will be open, we saw a 600 percent increase. The Biden administration has been working directly with airlines to prepare for the rush of passengers. Still, travelers should be prepared for long lines at customs and immigration here in the United States. But many say it's worth it, including Faiza Ramon, who came to Dulles Airport outside Washington to meet her nephew. Um, he doesn't have a father. My brother died when he was a year and a half, and um, practically his mother. The wait goes on, and then the reunion. Your camera. <laughs> you can uh, call on uh, FaceTime and stuff like this, but personally, yeah, it's better. And for travelers like Rukia Shaka, it's been way too long away from that special someone. Tell me what you're going to do. See friends and family actually. Uh... <laughs> oh my God, we're going to be on TV. Stop. I missed you too. Yeah, so uh, this is the reason I came here. <laughs> A reunion yes. worth the wait, but one they hope they never have to repeat again. Jim Spellman, CGTN, at Dulles Airport outside Washington.